Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just want to take a second here to say if you hear all the loud noises in the background, um, I apologize, but I'm sitting in my truck at the skate park while my uh, three boys are out skateboarding and scootering and rollerblading. Um, so again, I apologize for the noise in the background, not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, but I just wanted to get this video released. Um, I had a gentleman ask me a question on my hotkey script video. Uh, about getting the file for, or the hotkeys for Simplex Hotkey Daemon, um, having a line added into it for that. Um, he's also using Herp's Lift. I don't know if he wants that in there, but I'm going to include that in anyway, and so he can do with it what he will. And I hope this helps him out, and I hope this helps you out. So, first things first, what I'm going to do here is we're going to open up the script here that I have. This is my hotkey script. Um, if you're unaware of what it does, it basically displays key bindings. Um, kind of like the help the little help pop-up you get in awesome window manager that shows all the key bindings and what they do um, I just kind of wrote this up to kind of show you what you could do on your own to have that kind of functionality in um, in any window manager right now I have it set for my xmonad my rat poison and my i3 um, but this gentleman would like to have simple X hotkey daemon and I don't know about her slip but we're gonna throw it in there anyway so Basically, what we need to do is if we, oops, not in insert mode. If we go back to the top of the file, you can see I've added two more files in here: file four and file five. File four is simple X hotkey daemon, and file five is auto start. And um, hopefully, I'm zoomed in far enough uh, for you guys to see. Let's go a little bit more, but I don't want to go too big. But I have those uh, those files in here now: file four dot config simple X hotkey daemon simple X hotkey daemon rc and file five, which is home dot config herbs lift one and auto start. Um, and if we look at herbs lift, if we go in here and we go into, let me just pull it up here real quick, and then I will uh, zoom in on it. As you can see. The key bindings in Herb's Lift start with HC Keybind. Uh, HC, st HC stands for Herb's Client. That's what kind of runs everything on Herb's Lift. Um, one of my favorite window managers by far. It's the one I'm actually using for this video, mainly because I need to show the functionality of the script in it, but also be because it's probably one of my favorite of the lesser used window managers. Um, it's not one of the big popular, you know, i3 awesome. DWM, Xmonad, you know, those ones that most everybody uses. Uh, Herb's Lift isn't on that list, um, but it is by far one of my favorites. So that being said, like I said here, you can see that HC Keybind is um, the lines that show your key bindings. And so what we're going to do then is we are going to scroll down to the bottom of the uh, script here. You can see I've got... Um, Uh, right here I've got X monad right here I've got rat poison and right here I've got i3 um, we are actually going to add well then if I go down here I've got question mark which is it doesn't show anything because it doesn't know which session you're running but if we're here we are going to go ahead and add in another manager here and we're gonna do LF and we're going to do double square brackets and then session equals herbs loved. So we're now going to add a case where this one is session X monad, this is a session rat poison, this is if the session is I3. Now we're going to say if the session is herbs loved. Then oops, we want to grep. And remember I showed you in the Herbs Lift auto start file the HC key bind. Well what we want to do is we want to grep and have the carrot symbol. The carrot symbol means a line that starts with. So this is any line that starts with HC key bind. Now I'm putting that both those words in there, the HC key bind, because there's other lines in Herbs Lift Auto Start that begin with HC that aren't necessarily key bindings. So I could go through and do some other stuff that you know says only this or this or whatever, but this just makes it a little easier. So it's just grepping the the um, lines that start with those words. So once we get those in, um, we're going to do HC key bind, and we're going to do from file five because if we scroll, oops, if we uh, Go back up to the top here. Oops, that's the bottom. If we go back up to the top here, uh, we can see file five was our Herbs Lift Auto Start. So now if we go back down here, 
Then we're grapping HC keybind in file five. Uh, we're going to pipe that into cut, and we're going to look for fields one, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to go with a delimiter of space. Space, there we go. So that right there is going to check if the session is Herb's Lift, then it's going to grip the lines that start with HC keybind out of file 5, which is our Herb's Lift auto start file. It's going to pipe them into cut, and it's going to display fields 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with a delimiter of a space. Now I put five lines in there. I could be dead on, I could be not, but that's going to give me an idea when I display it instead of going over to the, the file again, which I could do and just count the fields I want. This is just going to be quick and easy. I'll just run this and <laughs> we'll see if I'm on the dot or if I'm too few or too many. Um, but what I also want to happen is if this also um, has simple X hockey damage, because with Herb's Lift, then you also would like to use simple X hockey damage. So, um, actually, you know what, what I'm going to do is because multiple different, um, multiple different window managers, people use uh, Simplex on. So here's what we're going to do. I was going to add that on the Herb's Lift, another section in my Herb's Lift portion of this, to do my Simplex Hotkey Daemon as well because I don't use Simplex Hotkey Daemon for all of my window managers, um, but a lot of people do. A lot of people that have multiple window managers. So what, let's just do. Um, we're going to escape, we're going to go to the bottom here, and that would normally be our finishing point right there, but we're not going to have that be our finishing point. We are going to end that if session, and then we're going to add another one that says if, and we're going to do dash f file 4, because that was our simple x hotkey daemon file. Then um, we're going to run Figlet. Oops. We're going to run Figlet dash F small. And then we're going to have it do simple X hot key daemon. And and then we're going to run, so figlet, small, simple X hockey daemon, and then we want it to grep, and I want it to grep, the gentleman that had the question on, or the comment wanted it to pull any line that didn't start with a space, and that's good, that's going to pull all of the lines that have the key bind in them, but that's not going to pull, the, at least not the way mine's set up, that's not going to pull the lines that have what the actual program that the key binding is going to launch is. So we're going to do this a little different. If you want just the line, I'll show you here, if you want just the line that doesn't start with a space, then you would do dash V. So if I did dash V and then I did the caret symbol and then I did a double square bracket, space, and then another square bracket. Actually, I don't need the double square bracket there. If I did this right here, this is going to give me any line that does not start with a space. The dash V is basically going to, instead of say any line that does start with a space, it's gonna invert it and say any line that doesn't start with a space. Um, so basically, if we did that, and then any line that doesn't start with a space and then we did file 4 and then we pipe that into cut we did dash field 1 comma 2 comma 3 uh, 4 comma 5 with a delimiter of space again So if file okay, so uh, 4, so yeah, okay. So this right here then should now run and check for my session. And if my session is Herb's Luff, it's going to display the HC keybind file 5. 
and then also once it runs through that then it should also check for file 4 from a simplex hotkey daemon and then run figlet to break up the two and then, okay so let's see if this works so we're going to escape we're going to write we're going to close that off and now let's go ahead and run hotkeys.sh this is the script that should show me my key bindings and let's see what happens okay so yes this is my herbs lift you can't really read that very well but herbs lift key bind you can see my hc key bind mod shift c spawn arco linux log out uh reload close so that displayed my herbs lift keys but what do we got down hotkeys line 61 syntax error unexpected end of file oh okay Duh. okay so what we need to do is we need to add the phi and then write let's clear the screen and let's try it again so hotkeys.sh.sh okay there we go so we got a herbs lift key bindings up here that are in the herbs lift window manager and then if we come down here nope um character class is oh okay so i do need double okay well see this is good this is you know this is kind of me figuring this out as well so let's clear that let's open this back up and let's do it says we need double square brackets so let's write that let's try it again so we got hotkeys oh look and there we go okay so if we scroll back to the top we have the herbs lift key bindings and what that's going to do is if we open this up this isn't just going to work with herbs lift if i'm in my xmonad session it's going to run my xmonad key bindings and then it's also going to pull my simple x hotkey daemon key bindings as well um so let's close that scratch pad and you can see it did my herbs lift key bindings and then we have the simple x hotkey daemon breaking the two up and then it has all of the key bindings for simple x hotkey daemon but as you can see it doesn't say what each one of them does it skipped that line because i have any line that doesn't start with a space well the problem is the lines that show what programs these key bindings launch start with a space so what we need to do here is we need to i think get rid of the dash v so i want lines that start with space but i also want lines that start with a because my simplex hotkey daemon keys um you can see they start with my my uh super key i don't use the super key i use the alt key um however i have some that start with x and i do use a couple that start with the super key so basically what i want to do is i want to start with the any line that starts with a space that starts with an a starts with an X or starts with an S and what's funny is in all reality with this if I'm just running the whole thing I could just <laughs> I could just cat file 4 which is the simple X hotkey daemon file but let's just see what happens if I do this so let's write that so this should grep any line that starts with a space an A and X or an S from file four, which is the simple X hotkey daemon file, and pipe it into cut. So let's just see what happens here. So let's control C, control L, let's run our hotkey script again, and there we go. So again, we have our key bindings for Arco Linux, uh, or for, excuse me, for um, Herb's Lift um, in our auto start file, and then we skip and we have the simple X hotkey daemon key bindings as well. But we not only have the key bindings, we have what they. Um, actually launch so not bad okay but we're missing a couple things down here on the one two three four five one two, oh you know why it's because each one of these spaces the four spaces that are in the tab are each counted as a space so that's one two three four fields and then the fifth field is this so if we want to clean that up real quick then we could do field five and then do six, seven, eight, nine. Right, close that out. Control C, Control L. Then we can run hotkeys again. And now we can see we've got all of the lines. So, again, what we did here is we added a, another um, if statement in here. We added to the if statement we have for to check for session herbs lift, which it did. 
and then it grabs the HC keybind line for any key bindings that are actually in the Herb's lift file and uh, displays fields 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we break out of the if statement, the first if statement, and we start another one that says if field 4. Now, if I added this up here, I believe it would quit after it found Herb's lift and it would not continue on to file 4 if I included this in the in the uh, first if statement, which is why I dropped it down here to its own. But what it does is it's going to run this first if statement, it's going to check for the session we're in, and it's going to print out the hotkeys for that session. And then once it's done doing that, it's going to come down here, and it's going to check to see if we have Simplex Hotkey Daemon. If we have Simplex Hotkey Daemon, it's going to display what's in Simplex Hotkey Daemon. Now again, like I said, I could just have it cat the whole Simplex Hotkey Daemon file out because there's really not much to it. But this way, it at least doesn't give us the description of what each line does, in my file at least. Um, I have descriptions for programs and whatever else that this just ignores. So that being said, um, hopefully that helps. So again, you would just add, um, for Simplex Hotkey Damage, because that was his question, you would add the file um, at the beginning up here, like we did here. So you'd add another variable for a file, file for home, and then the path to your simplex hotkey daemon file. And then down here, we would check for if that file exists. So this is the double square brackets dash f file four. We're checking if that file exists. Then what we want to do is I'm having it run figlet to break up the two because I'm having it run it on top of my sessions. If you don't want to do that and just want to display simplex hotkey daemon, you can take this figlet line out because it will run it up here. Um, but I have it in here, so it will split the two session and simplex hotkey daemon. Again, if you don't want to, just take it out. And then you're going to grep. Now remember, if you want to grep um, files that don't begin with space, you're going to have the dash V flag in there. And that is going to split it, so that's going to save um, any file that doesn't begin, or any line that does not begin with a space. Um, but we want to have the lines that begin with a space, so we're going to leave the dot V dash V out of there. So V flag, any line is going to say any line that doesn't start with, and a V flag or the no V flag is going to just be any line that starts with a space. And remember this caret symbol, that's what line starts with. Um, so the line that starts with a space, an A, an X, or an S, and then in that file four, and then we're going to cut and add these just to display these fields that are separated by a space. So again, I hope that worked for you. I hope that answers your question and I hope you can get this working for you. So that being said, um, have a great rest of your day, great rest of your weekend, and I hope everybody's ready for the holidays. Um, I will talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.